Supporting terrorist groups is illegal under British law. And that's why this weekend's events on the streets of Britain have been so troubling. Thousands of people took to the streets of London and other cities across the United Kingdom to demonstrate their support for Palestine. But these demonstrations had all the signs of support of Hamas and hatred for Israel. Two women were filmed wearing images of Hamas paragliders, the very same paragliders that swooped into a festival and murdered hundreds of innocent young people. A woman draped in a Palestinian flag began taunting Jewish people and shouted, and shouted something that's so unbelievably disgusting. She shouted, don't forget what happened to the Jews in the 1940s. A brave man wearing an Israeli flag was hounded and chased through the streets with the police forced to form a perimeter around him. Posters of missing Israeli children were brazenly torn down by protesters. Smoke grenades were thrown, balaclavas were worn, and aggressive chanting was heard. It was sheer intimidating thuggery. But perhaps most disturbingly, some people engaged in the genocidal chant, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. This refers to one of Hamas's favorite slogans, which basically means all of the land between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean will be free of the Jewish people. At some point, it becomes clear that these demonstrations are not inspired by love of Palestinians, but rather hatred of the Jewish people and a support for terrorism. While a few people have been arrested by the police, with thousands engaging in these genocidal chants and being chased by mobs through our streets, this isn't enough. But do these people understand what and who they are supporting? Hamas murdered over a thousand Israelis in the latest conflict. They ransacked the Israeli peace festival filled with young people, killing more than 250 of them. They dragged 200 hostages back to Gaza, including elderly people and almost unbelievably so shockingly a Holocaust survivor. Women have been raped and children, babies have been murdered. But Hamas's charter, formerly known as the Covenant of the Islamic Resistance Movement, was issued in 1988, 1988, not 1688 or 888, and it explicitly calls for the obliteration of Israel in its entirety and to replace it with an Islamic state. In Article 7, the Charter says, The Day of Judgment will not come about until Muslims fight the Jews, killing the Jews. And when the Jew will hide behind stones and trees, the stones and trees will say, O Muslims, there is a Jew behind me, come and kill him. That is what Israel is facing, and that is what these thugs on our streets are supporting. And they should face the full force of the law.